Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia World. In this video, we are going to take a look at entering commands. The format function. The format function controls the numeric format of the values displayed. The function affects only how numbers are displayed and not how MATLAB software computes or saves them. Here are different format shown. So you can see we have a format short, we have a format short E, we have a format short G, we have a format long, format long E, format long G, format bank, format rat and format hex. So if we want more control over the output format, we are going to use printf and fprintf function. Now let's see a little detail about the format that we just used. Format short. Format short shows the scaled fixed point format with 5 digits. Format long shows scaled fixed point format with 15 digits for double and 7 digits for single. Format short E is a floating point format with 5 digits. Format long E is a floating point format with 15 digits for double and 7 digits for single. Format short G is best of fixed or floating point format with 5 digits. Format long G is again best of fixed or floating point format with 15 digits for double and 7 digits for single. We have two other that was not mentioned before that are format short engineering. That is an engineering format that has at least 5 digits and a power that is a multiple of 3. We have format long engineering which is also an engineering format that has exactly 16 significant digits and a power that is a multiple of 3. Format may also be used to switch between different output display formats of all numerical variables as follows. Format hex that converts to hexadecimal format. We have a format bank that is fixed format for dollars and cents. We have a format rat that is approximation by ratio of small integers. Number with large numerator or large denominator are replaced by a star. Format can also be used to affect the spacing and display of all variables as follow. Format compact suppresses extra line feeds. Format loose puts the extra line feeds back in. Suppressing output. If we simply type a statement and press enter or return, MATLAB automatically displays the results on the screen. Like for example, I assign my variable equal to 100. I am automatically shown that my variable is equal to 100. However, if we end the line with a semicolon, MATREF performs the computation but does not display any output. Like for example, my variable semicolon, the output is not displayed. This is particularly useful when we have to generate and work with large size matrices. Entering long statements. More than often, it happens that the uh, single statement is quite long and is not able to come into single line of the command line. So for this we use the ellipsis operator that is a three periods dot 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 followed by return or enter to indicate that the statement continues on the next line. For example we take x is equal to half plus 2 by 3 plus 3 by 4 plus 5 by 6 plus 6 by 7 plus 7 by 8 as you can see 8 by 9 and 9 by 10 will not be coming in the same line so I used a dot 3 times period that is the ellipsis operator and on the next line I wrote 8 by 9 and 9 by 10. Ellipsis operator makes for an improved readability and allows MATLAB to know that the whole two lines are only single line. Command line editing. Various arrow and control keys on your keyboard allow us to recall, edit and reuse statements that we have typed earlier. For example, suppose we mistakenly enter a square root misspelled as SQT, then hit enter. The MATLAB responds with undefined function SQT for input arguments of type double. So instead of retyping the entire line, I am simply going to press the up arrow key and the statement I typed is redisplayed. 
Using the side arrow keys, I will move the cursor and insert the missing R. Repeated use of up arrow key recalls earlier lines. Typing a few characters and then pressing the up arrow key finds a previous line that begins with those characters. We can also copy place previous executed statements from the command history. This concludes our video on entering commands and this concludes our module of language fundamentals. So thank you for watching and please subscribe to Edupedia World.